all my Clossum Possum fur babes. Thank you so much for coming to bang out with me today. We're going to have so much fun. I can't wait. So today I was inspired by the sort of band-aid nose trend that everyone has been doing lately. I mean, I've seen it all over TikTok. What? <laughs> I'll be five minutes. <laughs> we had a visitor. <laughs> Carl wanted to say hi. <laughs> um, lost my train of thought. No. But yeah, I've seen everyone on Instagram and TikTok doing this really cute band-aid <laughs> look. And I just wanted to show you how I do my sort of take on it. Matching my new... My new blue and purple hair. I just curled all of my hair extensions today and did a little like refresh of blue on my hair. I got this really cool new blue shampoo from Punky Colors and it's actually awesome. I was shook when I washed my hair last night. I didn't even expect it to be so pigmented. But yeah, definitely um, a must have if you've got blue hair. There's a teal one too if your hair is not as like dark of a blue of this and it's more of that like you know, turquoise, like mermaid sort of, like greeny blue, I think um, would look real pretty. But yeah, I hope that you enjoy this video today. I'll be playing with a lot of my new makeup products that I haven't had the chance to experiment with yet. So um, like these little face stickers that I've got, some new lashes, some new eyeshadow palettes. Really, there's a little bit of everything. Oh, Kim, Kim Chi's new makeup line too, Kim Chi Chic. Oh, I was really excited to play around with them. I think they're one of my new favorite makeup brands to be honest. I mean, look at this highlight. The photos like online when I was shopping on Merch Mother, Mother did not like do it justice at all. It is so pretty in person. Like I didn't actually expect it to look this sort of like pale like lavender color. I thought it was just gonna be like a white like glittery highlight, but like, oh my gosh no words. It has me like gagged for real. <laughs> but yeah, I had so much fun creating this pastel blue and purple makeup look. I did complete with colored eyebrows today. <laughs> so if you would like to see how I create this look step by step, please stay tuned. Hey everybody, I know it's been a while since I've done a makeup video like this, so welcome back. Thanks for holding out. It's literally been forever. So first, what I start with every day, no matter what, my favorite primer. So this is the Tarte 12 Hour Poreless Primer. I put it in anywhere on my face like that gets creases. So my smile lines, my forehead wrinkles under my eyes. It helps makeup stick on my nose. So pretty much all over my whole face at this point. I love it. And I'm using the Tarte Eyelash Curler. Otherwise, like my lashes, man, they are dead straight. <laughs> so here I'm actually using a yellow color corrector from Cover FX. And I'm just using this to cover the redness on my face. So yellow color corrector is less harsh is using green. Sometimes if I use a green color corrector I can look a little bit like alien like you know like your face has that like ashy like gray cast to it which is kind of weird but like you know what some days I go for them vibes so some days I am a green alien I don't know. <laughs> yeah but so once I've done that I've just blended it all in for a with a beauty blender. Now I'm taking a sort of like peachy color from my KVD Beauty Cream Contour Palette. I'm mixing the lighter shade and the darker shade together. So the two colors I'll be using are called Parchment and Bisque. So I'm using this little spatula just to depot the amount of product that I want just onto the back of my hand just to be super hygienic because I do use this palette on my makeup clients too when I'm doing makeup. So I hate like dipping my fingers or brushes directly into product. That's just nasty. That's how you spread germs and bacteria and stuff. So that's a no from me. 
So I'm using this Morphe concealer brush just under my eyes. Sometimes people might have like darkness or pigmentation around the mouth. So that's where you would want to use this like peachy color color corrector as well. And then I'm just blending that with my beauty blender. Okay, and once we've done that, I'm mixing my two favorite foundations together, my Tarte Amazonian Clay and also my Becca Ultimate Coverage, which is sadly discontinued now, so it does not exist anymore. If you guys have any recommendations or dupes for this foundation that you found, I would love to know, so please comment down below because this is literally my holy grail. I've got like two two backups <laughs> of this one waiting still and then I've also heard that Tarte Amazonian Clay is being discontinued and reformulated so hopefully the new version is just as good and it's not going to take a million years to get to the Australian market because everything always gets here slower than America or whatever. Oh my god. And as you can see, my neck is like really pale, so I try to match my face to my neck the best I can. So I don't have like an orange face and a really white neck, so I'll just put foundation on my neck anyways, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and then I just blend everything in with a beauty blender. Blend away all of your problems. <laughs> I don't know why I always sing. <laughs> I guess it feels less daunting when the camera is not actually on me, so y'all are watching the video and I'm just sort of like in the background here narrating the whole story. <laughs> That's it, I'm a storyteller. I'm a narrator of like a freaking nursery rhyme book or something. Storybook. I'm a narrator of a storybook. Okay. So now I'm taking my light concealer and putting that under my eyes. This one is like one of my faves from Huda Beauty, the Overachiever Concealer. The color I'm using I think is called Marshmallow. See the reason I don't just use like a white concealer straight away without using a color corrector is because if I didn't have a color corrector this would look like gray AF under my eyes. like being as light as it is so if you're just trying to cover the darkness under your eyes don't use a concealer that's like really 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 white or you're just gonna make it look worse but yeah that's why I didn't put this one on first I'm saving the best till last and yeah now we are like full covered AF you cannot even see what my skin looks like anymore wow just kidding like you can see a little bit of pimples and stuff <laughs> coming through but hey this brush is amazing so it was designed to like look like a fingertip and see I had the issues putting my eyeshadow primer on my eyelids because my nails are so long so I can't actually like blend it in the corner so that is why even though I do have fingers yes I know but I like having a brush which is shaped like a finger because it doesn't have a nail on it and see it can fit perfectly in the little crevice that crevice in the little crevices that I cannot reach so <laughs> yay <laughs> seriously though my eyelids are so oily <laughs> that this eye primer from Anastasia Beverly Hills because it's matte so this is gonna keep like the oils on your eyelids at bay which we like because your eyeshadows aren't going to crease up and see how it's like a little bit of a lighter color it actually makes colorful shadows look super duper bright and pigmented so here we've got the rcma original no color powder so literally you can use this on anyone no matter the skin tone and it's not gonna look like a funky color it's not gonna go like gray ashy it's not gonna give flashback or any white cast it's just gonna set your makeup and keep it from creasing and see I'm oily AF so my lids my eyelids have creased already so I've got to blend it in before I put the powder on otherwise the powder is gonna set it as a crease and 
the whole point of using powder is so that your makeup doesn't crease. So like, why would you do that? <laughs> okay, here we go. So anywhere on my face which creases, like my forehead and my smile lines. Oh, my brush is a little bit dirty, but this is one of my favorite brushes. I've got like three or four of them. The tapered highlighter brush from Sigma. It's just such a good shape. It can do anything. It can do blush, can do highlighter, can do like, you know, like contour. It's great. And it's sort of like tapered, so it's like pointy, sharp, so you can really get into those inner corners, even like sides of your nose and everything. I love it. Unfortunately, this brand, Furless, they have gone out of business. They're one of the brands, unfortunately, with COVID happening, they weren't able to make it through the pandemic and like all the financial stresses, which is sad. I've seen so many small businesses have that happen, but like, yeah, this makeup brush OG from Furless, I love it. I hope they come back. Maybe they'll come back. I don't know. I don't know. But what I'm doing here, I'm just wiping any foundation or makeup off my lips. And then after I do that, I'm putting on my Too Faced Lip Injections Lip Plumper. So this is just going to make my lips less dry and like, it doesn't really give you like, like a lip injections look, even though that's literally the name. It's just like, helps fill out any fine lines or wrinkles in the lips and just make the lips look smoother when you put like a for when you put a matte liquid lipstick over top. So now I'm going to put this cute little necklace on which I got from Fatally Feminine. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. One of my new favorites. I feel like I'm going to be wearing this every single day. Yes queen! <laughs> she has arrived. <laughs> now this necklace here is from Misery Guts. So she's a friend of mine. She lives here local in Melbourne, Australia. I see her every single year at Melbourne, Supernova, Comic Con. She's the best, but oh my gosh. Here we've got our Kimchi Chic products, which I'm so excited to try for the first time. Actually, I lied. I've tried Kimchi before. The only other product I've ever tried from hers is her faux freckles. So I love doing like faux freckles like across my nose and stuff. Especially having to wear masks at work. I feel like it's like a little way to just make your makeup look a little bit extra. And yeah, funnily enough, I thought that this, the name of this product was called Thai, like Tyler, like, so like Thailand, like Thai, but in an interview, Kim Chi actually said it's pronounced Thaler, like Thaler Moon, because she has a lisp and that's how she says Sailor Moon. So that just like cracked me up. I'm like, oh my God, great sense of humor, girl. Like, I love that. <laughs> Look at that highlighter though, oh my gosh. This is easily one of my new favorite highlighters ever. Like I didn't know what to expect like when I put it on cause I swatched like the texture on my hand a couple days ago and I was like, you know, not really impressed by it. But like when I've actually got that product on my face, like wow, I love the way it looks and the way it applies. So what I'm doing here, I'm only putting product on one side of my brush. So the side of the brush that's going to touch my face. See, I don't put the whole thing on my face. I just use one side of the brush. And I do the same like on my cheeks. And when you're applying your contour or bronzer, you always want to blend up because if you blend down, it's just going to give you like droopy cheeks. And yeah, I'm just shading the temples of my forehead slash five head to sort of like bring her down a notch. <laughs> Thanks for that. Kimchi coming through. Thanks girl, you got me. Looks like I lost 10 pounds already. Okay, so... Now I'm using this lighter shade just under my eyes to sort of highlight and I bring it all the way like you can see along the sides of my nose too just to sort of set that contour in place. Blending over my eyelids too. Yes. Okay. 
So here we've got I Heart Revolution's Fruity Strawberry Blusher. The inside of the blush is shimmery and around the outside of the blush is matte. So first I use the outside color. I try my best not to mix the two together. I pretty much just get like the outside color on my brush. But if you mix it a little bit, that's fine because you're going to be putting the shimmery one on top anyways. So see, we've got our Neapolitan ice cream on my cheeks, our chocolate for the contour, strawberry on top. <laughs> And then when we pop that highlighter on, we are going to have our vanilla. Yum. I remember being little and my grandpa Bob, like, oh my gosh, he loved Neapolitan ice cream. But what we would always do, we would stir it up and like make it like an ice cream soup. Like it was literally like pretty much like, like a milkshake. Like we would just stir it up and stir it up until it was <laughs> so soggy and we would just eat it with a spoon that way. We wouldn't like, you know, get a milkshake with a straw or nothing. We, oh my gosh, I don't know. It was just the best way to eat Neapolitan ice cream. And if you eat Neapolitan ice cream any other way, you are wrong. <laughs> so yeah, you'll see I put the shimmery blush on top. How cute is it? And here, I've actually got Unicorn Cosmetics Class of 86 brush set. So you get seven eyeshadow brushes in this set. They're all for the eyes, but I end up using the fluffy one for my highlighter because I always love these sorts of brushes for highlighters. You get a liner brush, you get a really awesome like cut crease brush, and there's three different blending brushes in there. Even a really little teeny teeny tiny one too, which is awesome for using on the eyes. But yeah, this was my first time pulling this brush set out of the box. So I was super excited to try it. I've tried a lot of Unicorn Cosmetics brushes and let me tell you, like, their blush and even their contour brush are two of my favorites ever. Oh, see, I'm talking to myself. I was like, bam, <laughs> I was so impressed with this highlight. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I've actually got another Class of 86 brush weight set waiting to be given away to you guys. So I'll be doing my giveaway I don't know, stay tuned, it'll be announced, but all the details will be up on my Instagram page. Woo! Just blending my blush and highlighter together, again with the same brush that I used to apply my blush. I always feel like that, just the little finishing details like that make all of the difference. And here I'm packing on that kimchi pearl gone wild highlight, just like on the inner corner of my eye, doing my signature little nose highlight. Bam! I cannot say enough how much I love this highlighter. Look at my little nose, I'm like a little doll. So cute! Yes, as you can tell, I am already feeling myself and I ain't even got my eyes done yet. <laughs> Gotta get some eyeshadow and lashes on. Girl, hold your horses. <laughs> okay, so. Here's my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I always use the shade Taupe. Some people say Top. I have no idea. To me, you spell Top, T-O-P, like the top you're wearing, or the top, I don't know, on top of ice cream sundae. Cherry on top. <laughs> Heck, I don't know. But this Soeva eyeliner brush is like the best for using any like brow gels or pomade, because it's a synthetic brush. So some brow brushes are actually animal hairs and they're a little bit fluffier. So animal hair brushes, I guess they say are better for picking up powders and stuff like that just because the fibers are a bit like coarse, but like I'm vegan. I don't use animal hairs on my face. Yuck. So this like super duper skinny brush is going to be the best for any sort of like gel pot eyeliner or even like a brow pomade. Because it's not going to absorb all the product and it's going to give you that real skinny, really, really thin line. Again, I think I've got maybe four or five of these brushes because I use them in my freelance kit as well. But yeah, even though we'll be doing colored eyebrows today, I still need to have a base. So I like using a sort of cool toned colored brow pomade underneath even when I'm doing colored eyeshadow on my brows because I feel like it makes all the difference and it just makes 
like it just gives like a smoother look and it just looks more polished that way like you can tell when I'm in a rush and I just do like if I just throw eyeshadow on my brows without having any sort of base or pomade underneath I just look you know I look cute but not as put together so that's what I'm doing here do my brows see like if anyone asks me I always say like I love doing eyebrows on other people because like if you've never seen them with their brows done before or even if you have seen them with their brows done before like they're always excited to see like what sort of interpretation you would do like how you would draw their brows and how you would recommend what would look best with their face shape and I just I don't know it just makes me feel good um, like people's reactions even though it might not always be something that they would do on themselves every day I always get positive reactions they're like oh my gosh I've never thought to do my brows that way my face looks so different like and I just think that's awesome showing people new ways they can wear their makeup because sometimes it's easy for us to get like stuck in a little bit of a rut and like we're doing the same thing over and over and over every day you know like personally I used to hate like doing my own brows just because I was like oh my gosh it's always the same over and over like I don't know it just feels boring like I literally could not wait for that part of my makeup to be finished okay so our CMA she's back so what I'm gonna do is take that same highlighter brush from Sigma, the one that we used under our eyes before. And I'm just going to put that over the front part of our eyebrows. So that's going to give that cool like faded like ombre look and sort of just make them like tapered off a little bit more so they're not as dramatic in the front. Because like if you look at how our eyebrow hairs grow naturally, they're always thinner at the front and then darker towards the ends of like where the tail is. So that's why I always try to make it lighter in the front, even though I shave off my brows. I feel like that still gives the illusion of what makes them look like more natural. And here we've got our Sugar Pill Capsule Collection. So this is the Volume 1. There are three different capsule collections out now. Number 2 and then their new special 10 year anniversary one I think as well. So this color here, I'm taking the blue and the purple for my brows. I'm trying to find colors that match my hair like the absolute closest I can. And this is just the same brush that we use to put our pomade on with. So I'm going to use this blue like on the end of my brow, just the tail. And in the middle what we're going to do is make it like a purple and then well I mean when you say middle do you mean like the middle of the brow or like the middle of your face I guess I mean the middle of the brow because <laughs> the part closest to the middle of my face so like the inside corner of my eyebrow I guess you would say we're gonna use like a light sort of baby pink so it just sort of fades into my skin and fades into that sort of like little bit of white setting powder that we put on and just creates a really nice and pretty gradient and just everyone is happy, everyone is love, joy, joy, happiness for all. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm hyped on today, but <laughs> it's definitely something. <laughs> okay, so see, I'm going in with that purple shade. And like, I know this video is super duper sped up, but like the trick to getting your brows like perfect, perfect is just being slow and like slowly adding the little bit of color here and there. Because if you add too much, you're just going to like, you know, if you're heavy handed, like it just gets everywhere. So I just start like by literally the tiniest bit of eyeshadow on my brush. You can see here I'm using that lighter pink shade in the middle, <laughs> well, center of my face, in the front of my brows, that's what I'll say, in the front of my brows, yeah, because man, I call everything the middle, like, what middle, middle, what middle, your middle, my middle, <laughs> you know how you say to people sometimes, your left or my left, your right or my right, <laughs> same, same, <laughs> oh, I'm such a dork. 
Okay, so this color is called Baby Doll, again from our Sugar Pill capsule collection. I'm just using this as a really pretty sort of cool toned transition color. It ended up being like a little more blue than I thought. Like, it's a really cool color though. Like, in the pan it like looks a bit more purple, but then like on camera and like I don't know if it's because it sort of oxidizes a little bit on my skin, but it looks more blue and I think it looks awesome. I love it. So I'm taking this little bit of like a shimmery shade called Supernova and I'm placing that just over top. So like close to the brow bone and you'll see I even touch a little bit of this sort of lavender color on top of my cheeks because I felt like it blended really, really nice with the kimchi pearl. Purr. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter with me. I mean, <laughs> you guys have probs uh, watched me long enough to know there's something not right. <laughs> so like, are you really surprised at this point? Like, <laughs> I don't know about it, but here we go. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for staying tuned for this long. So... Again, that's my secret. I always blend my blush in with my highlight. Just because I feel like that makes it look more polished. And then taking that same color of glory. Really, I'm not too fussed about this. I can use any color like to do my little um, tear bag look. This is a sort of... Um, I adopted this technique from Asian style makeup, particularly Japanese gyaru makeup, which I love and adore because I myself am a gyaru and I write for a gyaru magazine called Papillon. So once I get this sort of shading underneath my little cute eye bag, I am going to blend it out. I don't have any eyeshadow or any product on this brush at all so this is a completely clean brush that I'm just using to blend the outside edges because I still want the inside edge to be super duper sharp because we're going to sort of like I want to say cut that crease almost like we're going to cut that crease with a lip pencil from KVD Beauty formerly known as Kat Von D but not anymore yes focus camera come on come on so see I line the little tear bag area and I put a little bit on the inside of my waterline but not in the middle of my face so only on the outside corner of my face because again I guess Subconsciously, not so subconsciously, this was like a little bit of like a Gyaru inspired makeup look, but not entirely Gyaru or Gao because I made it my own in a way. But see how I stop? I only take it like one third of the way in, like I stop at the corner of my contact lens, so I'm not going to be putting any of the skin colored eyeliner on the inside two-thirds or inside half of my eye. I'm gonna put that with, I'm gonna fill that part with black later. So I've got a new eyeshadow palette. So what I was saying, this is my first time reviewing any makeup from Rude Cosmetics. So they're a 100% vegan brand. Everything from their brand is vegan, from lipsticks, eyeshadows, glitters, everything, which is awesome. And this palette is called City of dreamy lights and oh my gosh the packaging is so cute and aesthetic it literally looks like it reminds me of an old PlayStation 2 um like video game case it's so cute it literally looks like a video game oh my gosh I love it so much and I can't wait to have a play with these colors they're so beautiful so I'm going to stick this band-aid to my nose see I did find some issues here because I put so much powder on my face just because I am such an oily, oily beast. The oily beast that I am. 
just because I am so oily. I mean, being the oily beast that I am. <laughs> so, if I was wanting to stick this band-aid permanently on my face, not permanently, you know what I mean. Like, I would have to use like a little eyelash glue to glue it down. But because I just want it on for like a little while, just to like, you know, stick it on there for a minute just so I can use it for a stencil to do the outline, that's where we've come with this challenge, which, uh, oh my gosh, you'll see. You'll see. You'll see. Just wait for it. My life. The band-aid is like, nope, see ya, bye. <laughs> see? She's popped off already. <laughs> yep, gone. She ain't sticking around for that. <laughs> my facial expression though, jeez. Oh my god. That was my uh, real-time reaction. <laughs> oh my goodness. So now I'm taking that blue color. Respawn. 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 How do y'all say that word? Respawn? Sounds like respond? Respawn. Respawn. Yeah, now you see my bandage crooked. I f***ed it up. Damn. What can we do? We gotta do surgery. That's okay. We fix it up later on. Man. So here what I'm doing, i pretty much taken all of the product off my brush as much as I could and I'm just trying to blend the outside edges so you'll see I blend it onto my cheek so it sort of fades out into my highlighter and blush and then I blend the part that's like closest to my eyeshadow and up, up the top of my nose. And now I'm doing the same for the purple side, just blending the edges into my blush and my highlighter and then up into my eyebrow and my eye makeup. So cute! Purple and blue are sort of like my signature colors, like if you didn't know. Eventually I just want to be covered in purple and blue, like head to toe tattoos. I don't even want to wear foundation anymore. I just want to wear like blue or lavender sort of like face paint literally as my skin color. Like I'll be a permanent monster girl all day every day. That's in the future future when I'm like old and successful and filthy rich and can be myself <laughs> and can afford to be myself. <laughs> But yeah, that's the end goal. I want to get my entire body tattooed blue and purple and just live my life as like a blue and purple blob. <laughs> so here I'm taking that really beautiful white sort of shimmer color. It's called Bright Light. It's literally so pretty. And I am like outlining my band-aid to look like a highlight so that's gonna give that like 3d effect if it's outlined in a darker color that's gonna look like a shadow but then if the inside of the band-aid like the edges are like highlighted with this like shimmery shade when the light hits it it's literally gonna like make it look like a real band-aid so cool <laughs> i love this so cool so here is my suva little oh they're like little eyeliner paint things it's called suva beauty these are their uv taffies so i imagine they're actually uv activated if you've got a uv lamp that would be super cool so this purple color is called smarty pants speaking of like smarties in america smarties are a totally different like type of candy they're kind of like little miniature like pastel colored sweet tarts and they come in like a roll like like a plastic roll of like you know smarties they're smarties but when i come to australia carl tells me smarties are something different they're like chocolate that's coated like an m m and they're shaped just like an m m but they call them smarties but he says the chocolate's better it's different from m ms he says it's a different kind of chocolate and to me it sounded like six lips and then I made him try six slits, like, you know, they're like little balls. I made him try six slits in America, and he said, nope, not the same. And I'm like, what, 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 what? Like, what? Like, I'm vegan, and I don't know if Carl's just really bad at explaining or describing to me. Like, if you are a non-vegan and you've tried Australian Smarties before, can you please explain to me, like, what they taste like? Like, you know, if you're a real graphic 
have lots of good adjectives, descriptive words and stuff, <laughs> please list them in the comments below because like, I want to know and Carl just sucks at explaining stuff to me and like, I can't try it myself because I'm vegan and I don't want to break veganism. I just, I'm curious, okay? Curi curiosity kills the kit. I want to know. <laughs> curiosity kills the cat, but satisfaction brought it back. Yeah. So cute. Oh my gosh, I wish this was like a permanent part of my face. <laughs> so cute. So here we've got some adorable little stickers from L-A-Z-N-Y-E C-R-E-A shop. I don't know how to pronounce that because I want to say Lasian, like Asian, because like that's how when we're texting and spelling Asian, like Asian, you know, I would say Lazen, but then it's like NYE, so like New Year's Eve, Cree, like creative or Crea shop. I don't know. I don't want to butcher the pronunciation of your shop name, but your stickers are super duper 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 cute. I love them. And I don't know if the stickers have latex on them or not, but I tried them and patch tested them. And normally I have allergic reaction to latex, but these did not give me an allergic reaction. So I'm happy to continue using them. Again, with that said, I did stick them to my face with a latex free eyelash glue because I put so much powder on my face stickers will not stay on my face but they're so cute I end up using these cute pastel little hearts I did some purple ones the blue ones and then one in the middle of my nose which is half purple and half blue See, I was using these ones already. I actually did a really cute makeup look on my friend Kitty where I used these little hearts. It's like a stencil on her cheeks to do like little cute heart blushy freckles. Oh, they look so cute. You'll have to check out my Insta page where I post all my makeup content if you like to see the makeup look which I did on Kitty using these stickers. Ha. So, this is my Huda Beauty Lash Glue. The black eyelash glue is not vegan. It, the black eyelash glue has latex in it. This is the clear eyelash glue. So it is white and it dries clear and it is vegan. So it is latex free and super duper sticky. So if your eyelash pops up halfway through the day, like you can literally stick it back down. Like it will still be wet, like it works. But it is annoying to take off sometimes. I've always got to use like a makeup remover balm or an oil does the trick. This took me a lot longer than expected to stick all these little stickers on my nose, so I'm just going to speed up through that and show you guys the finished process. So, I think I've got my I'm going to do two different shades of purple. I'm going to do like a light purple and a dark purple. What's on A-dub? Hi. Carl's behind me. Say hi. Can you see? I thought he had a mask on. <laughs> no, it's just his beard. <laughs> but what? Sorry, <laughs> I need to have food and Domino's is open for another 30 minutes so I can be that guy that puts up order in really late at Domino's. Oh. Can you get me some, I don't want a whole pizza, but could you get some cheesy garlic bread? I'll eat the whole thing. Okay. And maybe like a solo? And this, and that, and some of these. Sorry? I'm going to do it really quickly. Yeah, like ASAP. <laughs> 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 and I'm taking this purple color again. This color is called Game Over. I tried to say that like 
Nitro, the villain from <laughs> Crash Bandicoot, because I played Crash Bandicoot so much as a kid. See, <laughs> I'm talking to my friend Jade on the phone. <laughs> I ended up getting a garlic bread from Domino's and it was super duper yummy. But yeah, I don't know about all around the world, but here in Australia, Domino's does a vegan cheesy garlic bread, so they put vegan cheese on it and chive. So I decided that I needed to darken up the purple a little bit, so I used the same shade from my Sugar Pill Capsule palette. This one's called Undone, it's the same sort of purple that I used on my eyebrows. And I'm just putting a little bit of it and then sort of like blending it. Blending, 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 blending. Blend it like a smoothie. Blend it like a smoothie. Oh my god. <laughs> Excellent. I live for this look. Yes. <laughs> Yes, beach. You know what they say, there's no such thing as too much blending. Keep on keeping on. Okay, so now I'm happy with how that blend turned out. One million years later, I'm taking this really pretty shimmery shade. So this one's called Winning Streak. And I've mixed a little bit of it with the white shade that we used, Bright Lights. Just because I really love the way the shimmers in that one look. So like I'll put down the shimmery blue. And like, God, this is like the most amazing cut crease brush. I love this brush. Like, oh my goodness. I want like five more. <laughs> and like... Because I did this makeup look a few days ago. Yesterday when I did my makeup I actually did a proper like carved out cut crease with a liquid concealer and everything like that. And like it still works the same. Like I love this brush. It's so thin. See today I was lazy and couldn't be bothered like you know carving out the whole look. So that's why you see me keep layering it and keep layering the pigment. I literally do like five layers of it to try to get like that like sort of straight line so it looks like a cut crease but being lazy without like putting the liquid product down to get a cut crease I just skipped a step mm, so icy so smooth I love it again I'm wiping off the lip plumper that we put on before just so there's nothing sticky left on my lips because if I try to go over like this lip gloss or lip oil or lip plumper or anything with a lip pencil or like a liquid lipstick or a matte lipstick, anything, it doesn't work. So it just like sticks, sticks to my pencil and just looks crusty and really, really patchy. So that's why I've got to wipe it off first. So I have been loving these Natasha Denona lip crayons. They are freaking awesome. This color is a straight up dupe for the Huda Beauty Wifey. Like I used to use the Wifey lip pencil all the time. This one is like my new replacement because they don't make that lip pencil anymore. Darn you Huda. And like all for new shades of the new lip pencils that Huda's done, none of them are the same. So another new product alert. This is from Trixie Cosmetics. I've already tried her lip gloss in the shade Cream Puff, I think it's called. It's like a peachy sort of pinky nude. You'll see me wear it in pretty much every single other one of my videos. I love it, but man, I need to buy me a backup because this is my new favorite color. It's the most gorgeous pastel pink on me because like every nude pink lipstick on me because I am so fair. I'm so pale. I'm so pasty. Oh my gosh. Everything looks too dark on me. This is perfect. I live. I love it so much. I love it. Yes, I love it. It looks so good. I need like five more. <laughs> okay, so now 
I'm going to put on my mascara. So at the moment I've actually been trying out the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Brag Mascara. So this is like a volumizing mascara. The brush is sort of like tapers in the middle, gives you lots of volume and just like juiciness, like really makes my lashes feel super thick. And thank goodness it doesn't transfer either because like when I do 10 hour shift days at like work, like if I'm at work and like, you know, I wake up at like, say I wake up at like 6.30, 7 a.m. and then I get home at like what? Five o'clock, take my makeup off like maybe six o'clock. I've had my makeup on for a long time and see because I have oily eyelids, I've always got my mascara ends up like underneath my eyes and like a whole like panda look, which is not a vibe. So this mascara actually works for me. Yay! So here I've got my Marc Jacobs highliner in the shade Blackour and I'm just putting that on the inside half of my eyes. So remember how we did the outside half of our waterline with the white pencil? Not really a white pencil, we used a skin tone colored pencil because white just looks too shitty and fake in cosplay. So with this black, I use it on the inside half. And I'm only putting mascara on the inside half of my eyelashes. I'm not putting it on the outside half where we put that skin tone colored pencil. So that is the T on that. And I've got a new eyeliner. This is the Tarte Maneater Liquid Eyeliner. And I am using that to do my wing. It's a little bit more wet than the KVD Tattoo Liner, which is like my like, you know, go-to like when I'm in a rush and just need to like get my eyeliner done really, really quick. Cause like with the KVD pen, I can just do my eyeliner so fast. But this one lets out a little bit more product, so it is like a little bit more watery. But it, that being said, it's a blacker black. So that's why I really like it for this look because it's quite dramatic and just looks really good. It is a little bit harder to work with when I do the inner corner though. Like I'm just so scared that it's going to smudge because of how watery it is if I make an accident and open up my eyes and blink really quick. <laughs> I'm a goner. But using my KVD tattoo liner, like, I don't have that problem. See, that's why I kept my eyes closed for a few seconds because I'm really trying not to get black all up in my crease. So I'll do the other eye off camera. And here I've got some black eyeshadow from Sugar Pill. So this color is called Bulletproof. Literally the best matte black eyeshadow that exists, like, ever on this planet. Like, in the history of anything ever that exists, it's the best one. It's the best one, bitch. You can't do no better than this one, because this one's already the best. You know, I hear Carl in the back of my head singing a fucking Pokemon theme song. It's like, I want to be the very best, the best there ever was and shit. Oh my god. Okay, that's enough, Carl. He sings that song to me all the time. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just creating like this little fake like crease. I'm putting this under my eye like where I want to create that fake like lash line. See? Because I'm just so damn cute. And that's that. So these bottom lashes I got from Daiso. I do not know the brand because I do not speak Japanese, but I use these a lot when I'm doing gal makeup. I always use clear eyelash glue on the bottom because of the sort of, I always want to keep saying white. I do not do white eye pencil. Gyaru do not use white in their waterline they use a skin tone color. So, I've got a skin tone color and I don't want to get black eyelash glue on it so I use clear eyelash glue. But I always like using my duo latex free black eyelash glue for my top eyelashes because it blends in black with my black eyeliner. Understand rubber band? 
see the inside half didn't want to stick so I'm just sort of like finessing it with my the butt of my tweezers stay there bastard behave behave be good I'll give you a treat be a good boy do you want treaties I think you want treaties ha so now I'm gonna do the other side real quick and then we're gonna pop on our the beautiful lashes. I love this packaging inspired by Edward Scissorhands. So cool. These lashes are called Edward. I cut the outside edge off and then I put the little bit that's left over because they were too long for my eye and sort of hung me on funky. I just stuck the little extra bit like on the end. Like I don't know if you can see even. Probably not. But I stuck the extra bit I had on the outside edge. So it looked cool. that was so much fun thank you so much for tuning in to see this kawaii creative pastel makeup look I guess it's sort of what I would call like a menhara inspired look so menhara is a subculture of Japanese fashion inspired by like the medical field so like lots of band-aids um, needles syringes things like that a little bit of blood this top that I'm wearing today was from Pastel Pixie. So you can see it has some little colorful pills. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite shirts of all time. Look how cute it is, oh my goodness. And today I'm repping my Artemis necklace from Misery Gut with all the little pastel love hearts. I thought it would go great with my new necklace custom kit just for me so this is actually by fatally feminine design she actually makes all of these clay beads individually by hand I did get another necklace from her as well let me show you this one is so precious so you can see it's on like a silver chain and then it has these beautiful little pearl details on the necklace and then you've got a little Pastel blue birthday cake! Yay! I just love sweets and icing and cakes and oh my gosh cupcakes and everything. <laughs> so this is perfect for me. You can see on this side there's also swirly, swirly little cake details. So precious! If you guys have an idea of what sort of outfit I should create for the blue cake necklace or any pieces that would inspire you definitely send me um, some inspo down below I would love to hear it but yeah thank you so much for watching my makeup tutorial I'm gonna go have some garlic bread from Domino's <laughs> bye